And welcome back to What If. Now, this one comes to us from Devin... St I might get the name, the last name wrong. Stidham? Uh, Devin Stidham. Who asked the question, What if King Vegeta had gone Super Saiyan? Now, this is an interesting little th idea. Um, because no one ever really talks about King Vegeta that much when you really think about it in the fandom. We uh, he talk about it when we talk about the, uh, like the history and stuff. But what, like, what if he survived and things along those lines? Those what ifs don't really exist very often. But what if King Vegeta had turned Super Saiyan? Now, there's what, there's two reasons. I, there's one big reason I chose this one, uh, based on the order, is because at this one I think I can do in one shot, and then I can start the next long term what if tomorrow, uh, and then the Sakura Senju one will be on Saturday as well. So first off, we have to we have to know the context of why he turned Super Saiyan. Pro and I would imagine it would be this, although there's a reason this is going to be one episode, uh, just a one sh uh, one shot what if, and you'll see in a little bit. What if King Vegeta turns Super Saiyan? Why would he turn Super Saiyan? When he hears about the treachery of uh, Frieza, and he's going to destroy planet Vegeta, he goes into action, he hears about this, and, you know, uh, Frieza's, Frieza's going to destroy him. Now, you do see that Frieza kills King Vegeta, he does. Let's say that he just, he swipe. Let's do a little alteration here. He swipes him with his tail, hits him against, hits him against the back of the wall in his shed. He's like, no, you're still alive. Well, then you get to watch the rest of the old monkeys burn, King Vegeta. And then he's, and then King Vegeta's seeing the destruction of his planet. Obviously, Goku gets away. He's like, no, no, uh, no, I won't let you, you bastard, you tyrant. I won't let you. And then he, he, seeing seeing his people die in front of him, it just snaps him. Just that trigger snaps, and he transforms into the legendary Super Saiyan. Now, how strong is King Vegeta as a legendary Super Saiyan? Well, let me double check here, but I'm pretty certain King Vegeta is documented at um, around ten thousand, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see here now. Power level. There we go. Uh, I believe it, yeah, it was around 10,000. They, they do to have it uh, documented at around 10,000, which is, was pretty powerful back then. That makes him well above Nappa, uh, but we know Vegeta was actually stronger than his dad, too, around 11,000. But, yeah, so that would put him at 500,000, which is right, which I believe, or relatively speaking, puts him around where, or what Vegeta was at when he fought Frieza the first time in the second, in his first form, which means... He, you know, he transforms, and they all say, there's scatters all break. He's like, so, uh, uh, oh, dear, Lord, Lord Freeze, what is this? He's like, I don't know. Uh, uh, tell me, oh, do you have you seen this? I've never seen the Saiyan do this in my life. But I don't, but I know it don't mean much. Come on, his hair just turned um, shiny. And then, you know, they try, and he literally just wastes Zarbon and Dodoria, and him and Frieza juke it out on the ship. And they're, they're wreaking havoc, or havoc here. Now, unfortunately, the planet's still being destroyed, so that that's d g given. So Frieza takes out in space, and they remember they Saiyans they can they can survive in a vacuum. They can't breathe in a vacuum. There's the difference. There is that they can survive to, for a while in a vacuum, but they do need to breathe at some point. Frieza can breathe in space. So the fight continues, and he's pushing Frieza. Frieza's shocked. He's just going all out. Frieza has to go all out now because they Frieza has to go all out. He is able to keep uh, uh, Vegeta at bay, King Vegeta at bay, but he still ha is struggling. And, and power, all he has to do is wait. But F Vegeta can honestly just go back to the ship and get some oxygen if he knows he has to get another breath of air. Uh, and I think Frieza would actually know this, but he, it's he would find a hassle to blow his ship up, so he actually has to go into his second form. And at that point, he kills King Vegeta. And now the question is: Does Frieza know about uh, Vegeta know about this? Kid, uh, Prince Vegeta, no, because as they retconned it in Super Dragon Ball Super Broly, he was off planet at the time, so and not even on v uh, Vegeta's sh or uh, his ship at all. Um, uh, <laughs> um, so yeah, after that, nothing changes because. What the, the only thing that um well may, oh, actually I'll take that back I will take that back um this does still a new kind of fear or like a, an idea in the head of 
uh, freeze about the Super Saiyan lore, and that is, like, oh, I killed your Super Saiyan. Yes, that's right, Vegeta. Your father became a legendary Super Saiyan, and I killed him. I killed him. I killed your monkey daddy. Which would be the what? I, no, that's that's not a you could kill a Super Saiyan. That's impossible. It's like, oh, is it, Vegeta? Is it really? Uh, it's like, let, uh, let me let me tell you a tale. Uh, and then he explains it, and Vegeta just try and Vegeta rages out, and, but he can't go Super Saiyan, and nothing, and you know Frieza beats his ass. Goku shows up now. Goku goes Super Saiyan. When he goes Super Saiyan, Frieza's not initially shocked. He's like, oh, p please! He, his father did that, and I crushed his skull. I vaporized him. I painted my walls with his blood. You really think? And because of that, uh, unlike the last time where he was scared, he didn't know what to do with Goku. He would actually underestimate Goku this time, and I think Goku might actually take the win uh, a lot easier than he did previously, or at least get a solid degree mo uh, more uh, damage. Like, he can get a lucky gut punch, you know, like, you know, bruise kidney and all that, and kid uh, kidney punch, kidney punch, and pause, kidney punch. So, I think that would be another factor in it. It would also encourage Vegeta to maybe hit Super Saiyan a little faster, though I don't think that would ultimately play anything long term. Like, change anything, anyway. And ultimately, that's that's where the changes really cease. There's nothing that King, uh, that King Vegeta turning a Super Saiyan would change about. Now, it all depends on where you would have his change happen. Have it happen maybe a year before Frieza blows up the planet, give him time to change. That does change things, maybe, to some degree. But the problem is, where's the scenario where he turns Super Saiyan? For me, the most realistic scenario where he turns Super Saiyan would be at that moment where Vegeta, uh, Frieza... In this case, attempted to kill him. He turned Super Saiyan and seeing his planet be incinerated. Then he attacks Frieza and they go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, but ultimately would lose the fight. Because Frieza, we know, is still much stronger than 500,000, even in his base form. So, ultimately, I, I, God, that's where this what-if ends. There's nothing long-term that changes about the series, unfortunately. Uh, but what do you think? Do you think there's other things that could change long-term about the series? Let me know in the comments below. But thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. As always, if you want us to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know. We'll review of it at some point. Ideas for who would win. Star Wars, Severe, Magic, What If. Anything I do on the channel, put that in the comments below as well. I'll get to that at some point. So the night is us. I'm going to be checking that. I don't believe... You know what? I didn't actually check if anyone um, had responded to wanting to go see... Uh, the movie with me. Hold on one second. I don't think so. Um, boop, 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 Come on. Sorry, I, I, I'm going to my Facebook right now, because that's where I, you know, send a, out a message. Like, hey, you know, I'm going to see us tonight. If anyone wants to join me, let me know. Nope, doesn't look like it. Oh, well, that's fine. Another solo adventure for me. Anyway, I digress. So, thank you. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. As always, wants to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know, we'll do a review of it at some point. I just for a win. So I just went all over that. I had to double check that. So, yes, yeah, so I'm seeing us tonight. That's it for tonight. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.